Hello everyone. Um, today I want to uh, make a video um, to uh, show you guys how I maintain or uh, keep all my flashlight uh, batteries. So if you like flashlight uh, like me, you probably have a lot of flashlight and at the same time you will have a lot of batteries so such as these three. So these batteries um, back in 2015 or 2016 uh, all, all the flashlight doesn't come with the USB charger so at that time you really have to uh, use a charger to charge, charge the batteries. So one uh, example would be like the um, Phoenix PD35. This one I think I, I got it like 10 years ago but it still function and works really good right now. Um, I've, I've also got the Phoenix TK12 that this is a, a very old one so it doesn't come with the USB charger and I also have the um, the Surefire um, I believe it's the upgraded version of 6P these ones all doesn't have the USB port so at the very beginning um, I've got um, this charger it's the uh, Nikkor um, charger so it can charge all kinds of battery except for um, these new ones are too too big but um, other than that it can charge pretty much all the batteries so I've got this one um, to charge but as as I have more and more um, flashlight and I have more uh, batteries then I started to think about how I am gonna uh, storage those batteries because sometimes I like it's impossible for me to use all these batteries at the same time but if you don't um, keep it in the storage mode if you do a fully charge uh, these batteries will turn bad so um, so I have um, I invested a hobby grade uh, battery charger so it can help me to um, to to uh, to store all my batteries so um, so I'm gonna show you what I I am using to keep my batteries healthy uh, now um, I've got this battery charger it's it's the uh, IMAX B6 mini it's from Sky RC um, all like if you in if you in the hobby community, uh, pretty much all the hobby grade uh, charger uh, will work because what this one does is um, it had it one is it can charge all kinds of batteries, pretty much all kinds of batteries, lithium ion battery, um, double A triple A batteries. Um, what's cool about this one is it can also do a balanced charge if you have uh, lipo batteries. And for these flash flashlight uh, lithium ion batteries, um, it, it has the um, a really cool function. It called a storage mode. So once you select the um, the uh, storage mode, it will actually charge to a certain voltage, and then it will cut. So it keep um, the battery healthy. So this is the uh, front, and this is the uh, back and um, so what you need to use for this one is so um, so for what come what come with uh, the charger it should come with uh, adapter and it also um, come with a bunch of uh, a connector I think I bought I bought this one um, extra uh, it's just uh, it's got all the like all the connectors so I don't need to uh, find every single one to charge. These are like all in all in one type of uh, uh, a cable. It's much easier. So the trick for charging um, flashlight battery uh, using the hobby grade uh, lipo battery charger is it it doesn't come with a proper adapter. So um, what I did is I made. I made I made a a custom uh, cable by myself. So 
so it, it's got the positive and negative so when I charge the batteries I use a small magnet and it will stick on the two two ends like like so and then I will just connect the battery like the the adapter connect connect it together and then to make it work this is the uh, the like the trick you have to do okay so now I am going to uh, show you um, how I use this charger so once you connect to the uh, to, to the power source um, like this is the uh, main screen so you can select uh, it has all type of battery that you can select it also got the battery meter <clears throat> so what we need to use uh, for the flashlight uh, battery is this an ion battery I'm gonna show you um, how everything works um, so you select the lithium ion battery and you select either charge or storage so for this one I select a charge and I choose a 1 amp and 1 S then you hold it and once you see that screen you're good to go and you want uh, you uh, press uh, start again it will start to charge So it will tell you the uh, battery voltage. Uh, this is uh, the charging rate one amp, and this is uh, this is the how much juice it will goes into the battery. And uh, here it also shows um, like how long it takes to uh, fully charge. So right now my battery is 4.07 volt. Um, so if I done using the battery. And if I want to put my battery into the storage mode, so what I will do is I will select the storage mode and I will do that again and hit enter. So it will, uh, like the systems will uh, do its own work to uh, put my battery into the storage mode. So it doesn't matter the uh, capacity or the voltage. Once you select the storage, um, I think the systems will automatically uh, detect um, the uh, like the storage mode voltage. So it will cut that um, into that voltage. So make your uh, batteries uh, healthy. So right now, um, I think it's either discharge or charging uh, 0.3 amp. And then uh, once it's reached to um, the safe uh, safe uh, voltage, it will cut. So all right, guys. So this is how I uh, storage my uh, battery. Um, it's it's actually not that hard um, if you get this uh, hobby grade uh, battery charger. But um, if you have these old ones, I think there is a. a a work around way so if you plug in and then if you put the battery so these batteries it won't do um, like it won't do um, the storage mode um, automatically but it will but I think you can still uh, do it manually what you need to do is you um, insert the battery And then it will detect how much battery, uh, like how much uh, uh, juice inside the bat inside the battery. So right now you can see um, I've got two bars. So what you will need to do is if you have a fully charged battery or you have uh, a lot of uh, bad a lot of um, juice in the battery, you can use it until you have like one or one point five bar to test it, uh, and then. It should be in the safe mode. So right now, um, it's a 3.8 volt. So I am assuming if you can either increase or decrease the voltage uh, to 3.8 ish, so it should be fine. But you just need to do manually. But if you got this one, um, the charger uh, will do it for you. 
Alright guys, so this is how I uh, keep all my batteries uh, safe using a hobby grade uh, battery charger. If you find my videos uh, is useful for you, please consider uh, subscribe my channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye!